tuition degree from in cyber security in MIT Xpro. He also certified certificate program in Indian School of Business and Master's degree in uh, Acharya in Nagarjuna University. He is the founder of all AI hacks, uh, uh, AI hacks software solutions private limited. AI hacks is a company that specializes in IT consulting and software development. He was the chief manager of ICIC Bank also. Uh, he worked as a data scientist in Ansel and the Kafel Solutions. Uh, he was the team lead of Aveda Software Solutions. He worked as a senior data analyst in Iris Software and Blue Star Infostack Solutions and many other. Thus, without wasting any time, I would like to call upon Mr. Pawan Gali to join with us on Teams. I would like to request everyone to kindly cooperate with us toward the uh, program to be successful in these Teams. So please be muted. If anyone having any doubts, we'll provide you time for that. And so don't rush. Uh, so don't rush for the doubts or anything else. So guys, please be muted. And if you want to ask anything else, just raise your hands and I'll unmute you. And thank you, uh, sir. The meeting devoted to you. Thank you. Yeah, I think it's Surya, I guess. Yeah, Surya, thanks. Thanks for the great introduction. So yeah. Yeah, as Suri said, I'm Pawan Gadi. I worked with IT industry for 14 years. So prior to that, I worked as an assistant professor in a college uh, for one year. So I know the how the academics goes in a in a what you call in a way. So uh, thanks for joining. Actually, take, taking the time uh, for the Sunday morning. I know you guys and there is a festival season going on. Uh, I do understand. Uh, you know, knowledge is the highest. Uh, is having the highest preference to learn about it. Okay. So today agenda, uh, without giving, uh, without taking much time, today agenda is I will be giving the idea about the cyber security. What exactly cyber security and what is the importance of the cyber security these days? Last four days, if you see, we are going to see what are the attacks in four years last four years it happened and how much amount of the money went to the dark web dark web is technically we call dark web as a group of hackers okay so all these all these interesting topics we are going to discuss um in in one hour span okay please bear with me and i hope i won't bore you if you have any questions as suri said uh, you can raise the hand and uh, we can I can take the questions. OK, so let's start. I think I uh, I don't have permission to share the my presentation. Can you make me host Mr. Surya? Yes, sir, I'll do that. Uh, sir, please give me a second. Yeah, take your own time, no problem. Uh, before uh, Surya come back, uh, I wanted to give you the um, the glimpse of uh, what the sens sensitivity of the uh, cyber security basically. Uh, sir, one sec, yeah, thank you, sir. Sir, thank you, Surya. I got. I think I got. Uh, give me a stop. Yes, sir. Thank you. Sir. I got the host permissions. Thank you for that. Close all unnecessary windows. I'll be sharing required information. Not security. I hope uh, you guys are able to see my screen. Give me one minute. Sir, if the possibility is there, can you please on your video? We'll see you even. Uh, it's a Sunday. You can't see me in a proper way. OK. Uh, okay, sir, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll switch on the video. No problem at all. But uh, maybe in my background might have something that makes my let that let me apply the background effect. Then it's OK. Apply and 
ఐఎస్బిట్ Okay, so that's a very lighter uh, introduction of. Uh, so let's jump into the topics. So, okay, see, if you see this one, this, these slides give you, gives you the, the sensitivity. What are, what are, what kind of attacks these days have been happened last four years? If you see Facebook in 2008, 2008 uh, there is a breach happened in the Facebook. 500 million accounts were sold to the dark web uh, those dark web people have been sold to the some kind of political parties they have made some kind of decision they have prepared the some kind of agenda for attracting the people votes so that's about the words with the friends it's a game um uh, something like a information of 200 million people uh, there is a breach happened in the that particular game so information theft happened happened so that million that game details have that players details have been exposed to the another competitor game uh, game creators i can say okay and married hotel if you see the married hotel uh, again here the motto behind the entire attacks is either selling the data to the certain people or competitors are just uh, what you call um blackmailing the uh, organizations to get back the money that's again the motto i will be presenting other motives or other motives of the uh, uh what you call cyber attackers technically what we call them as cyber attackers they sometimes people call them as, as a adversaries uh, some kind sometimes they call as hackers all this stuff uh, they call but technically they are high level where they are very cyber cyber security attackers okay so marriott hotel if you see marriott hotel uh, data has been theft this this kind of theft happened uh, people, hacker went into the uh, hacker got the access of the one of the uh, employees uh, 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 logins credentials and he went into that and he captured the downloaded all the required other uh, 200 plus i guess uh, 5.2 million guest accounts have been uh, hacked stolen i can say so this is the data breach and if you know the jack daniels and uh, honda the, these two have, these two companies have been hit by the ransomware i hope you guys know what is ransomware right any any upper hands in to, any anyone is having about the ransomware uh ransomware is something like that it will be it is a malicious software which can encrypt your uh, what you call encrypt your um, encrypt your information uh, os technically it will, it will stop working on the os and who attacked or uh, who inserted the ransomware into your system he will be communicating with you if you pay certain amount i will be giving the be giving you the key you can open it you you can use your software something like a locking the entire system by his own key some kind of encrypted key once you pay the money he will be giving you the key and you can use the system as it is so this most of the ransomware attacks happens on the server side servers most of the information servers and other areas okay and the twitter if you if you, if you see the hackers in, intention of the hackers in the twitter or any social media what they will do right they will they might be working for the uh, their own political agenda their own uh, personal agenda right something like these days uh, anti name is taking a lot of uh, momentum because of certain people right so if someone hacker like us they can directly hack uh, people and they can put their own political agenda if you see uh, it, it happen it's not only 
political agenda, it's a geographical, for example, someone like our neighbors, Pakistan or any Chinese companies wants to run their own agenda in our uh, uh, in famous people or public personalities Twitter account. They will simply hack it and they will put their own uh, uh, their own uh, content on top of it. OK, sometimes you, you might be seeing that my accounts have been hacked. Don't don't uh, what you got. Don't see the um, don't uh, consider that I have posted this one. All this kind of messages coming from the public personalities, social media accounts. It's not only Twitter. It is Instagram, all the social media. OK. So that is these are all the famous five I can say. Um, and you have one more that is a match to Microsoft was hit by the breach data breach a breach is nothing but the problem or uh, any any malicious software malicious action happened or abnormal action happened uh, inside the cyber systems okay cyber systems are nothing but the which are connected to the internet okay so breach in their email system uh where i be i i was working at that time in the accenture so in 2021 we were having the uh there is a uh two days uh, we were not able to access the our, our own email accounts. So Microsoft have done uh, some kind of recovery management, uh, uh, recovery management thing. So they immediately uh, rolled back all the uh, malicious software and they have uh, redeployed re all the, the what you call uh, email system that is Outlook technically. OK, and other than that, see. Why I am presenting these numbers means you might Hello? Uh, yes, sir, we can hear Hello? you now. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Okay. I have I have power problem at home. OK, I think you, are, you guys are able to hear me, right? OK, why I'm presenting this one, right? Technically, you must have to understand the sensitive sensitivity of the issues and you might be knowing what exactly the things are happening around you. You never sense it. If you are not able to sense the sensitivity of the any kind of information you are posting inside any social media, then you, are, you will be the victim of this security. Out of this, I came across two personal incidents. One is one of our clients. Uh, one of our clients have uh, got attack on uh, ransomware. Uh, system have been broke. And uh, we tried online. There is a certain list that is uh, available on the internet. We have uh, we we came out of that particular problem. So OK. And the second one is my sister, I mean, my cousin sister has affected with the some kind of attack that uh, people calling her and asking her, OLX, uh, this is called OLX uh, scam. She, got, she paid 15,000. She paid 15,000 15, to get the uh, some kind of scooty in a cheaper way. Okay, that's again one more scam. Okay, these are all the. Uh, Things are happening around us. Only the thing is we are not able to sense it. OK. And hello. Hello. OK. Yes, so, sir. You are audible, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. OK. OK. Yeah, yeah. Someone please acknowledge it because my power has been gone. I sometimes I am getting uh, teams. Uh, Teams, uh, teams, uh, notification that uh, bad network, right? Please yeah. acknowledge it. That will be helping me. Yes, sir, we okay. You. So next, what are the? Uh, thanks for that. Uh, what exactly the motive of the cyber attack? I was talking about right. Still valuable assets of the financial gain. So in ICICI, when I was working with the chief, uh, uh, I used to lead the intelligent automation team. So there. Um, uh, we always fight uh, whenever we are going to deploy anything new thing, right? We have to fight with the our our security teams, the compliance team. The, in, in the those conversation, telling that per day, thirteen thousand attacks 
13,000 Knox, I can say. Knox means people tries to attack the ICICI, uh, what you call data servers, to breach it. But in our ICICI bank, I mean Indian banks, all over Indian banks, except, except the cooperative banks, one of the cooperative bank data has been compromised two months back, I guess. Okay, so they are following strict rules. A uh, land of the law, we call it is land of the law. RBI came across, came out with the very good law. That is, people have to follow the ISO standards. People will have to follow the ICC standards whenever they are deploying, whenever they are communicating. Or they have divided entire their uh, uh, internet zone into two corporate zone, outside uh, uh, what non corporate zone, technically they call it. So, because people are carrying the very sensitive sensitive information, confidential information, they have to protect like anything. Okay. And second is the uh, disrupt the operation. For example, there is a uh, had, there is a hacking attack happened in the hospital, due to which uh, uh, people uh, doctor is not able to access the people patient patient information. Patient have been died. So the entire operation activity have been went on the hold. The, I, if you see in an organization, if it is a manufacturing unit, someone hacked it and uh, he made it, made it made entire manufacturing cycle one hour late. So then it will be affecting certain amount of the money, right? So those kind of operation disruption they wanted, they will be creating. So end of the day, it will be affecting on the financial area. And these attackers will be having the dark web. Attackers not dark web be having the tie with the competitor of this certain company, which is the victim of the cyber attacks, right? So disrupting the operations, disrupting the area of the business, entire business. Uh, for example, my, uh, if you are uh, if you are having the one product, software product, okay, you are giving the services to the certain client, thousand clients. If your software is uh, uh, compromised or had by the, some people and uh, went into town, production uh, server is down, then your entire business will be in a, in a stake, right? Those kind of disruption will be creating by the dark web and they will be negotiating. If you give certain money, we will be giving you the solution, okay? Those kind of blackmailing things these people do, okay? And you uh, about running the cyber warfare and someone like, um, someone like crazy people who is stepping into the cyber security, they will just test it whether they can do it or not. Okay, that these are all the I mean, what you call top top uh, top five or top six uh, motives behind the uh, cyber attackers. And before entering into this uh, cyber attackers uh, cyber securities. Uh, I hope you guys understand what exactly is a cyber security. Cyber security is an underneath layer of the any organization who will be protecting the sensitive information or sensitive assets of the organization. They will be like a firewall to the any kind of any kind of malicious activity uh, to prevent from the any kind of malicious activities. Okay. I hope you guys clear, right? Yes, sir. yes, sir. We are clear. Yes, sir. Okay. There is a lag. I think there is a lag. I'm so sorry about. But types of cyber attacks. Um, yeah, malware. It is uh, I hope you guys are able to read us and um, understand the English. But I I'll, I'll try to explain in a in a normal normal time. Malware is something like. Uh, there will be, for example, I, I'll tell you. Someone wants to, uh, in your phone, someone wants to capture your uh, photos, right? Some, uh, if you see some kind of video in, uh, these days uh, passing through in an in entire nation, people will be selling one. Uh, if you see Amazon free apps, Amazon free, uh, this is very short term uh, offer. If you click on it, you will be getting into, uh, they will be providing one link, right? You, if you click on link, it will be opening some kind of blank screen. That means your phone has been attacked because 
if you click on the link you never know that your mobile your camera has been on and you have to uh, your information your sensitive information been captured okay so that is malware that is the best example of the malware people will be uh, people will be uh, sending you some kind of code or some kind of link to hack your system or mobile or any any, any device uh, which has been connected to the internet so to avoid certain things right first if you came across certain experience just stop the internet first restart your computer restart your device computer or anything uh, me, you sir. have to restart it yeah uh, sir Hello? sorry to interrupt that uh, sorry to interrupt that you can uh, turn off your video sir it's better because your uh, voice is lagging now so internet may cause issues with your video and uh, audio so if okay, you have the video it's so better much. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, sorry. Am I audible now? Am I clear now? Yes, sir. Now you are clear. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, uh, that was about the malware. Malware, I think uh, you guys are clear, right? Any suspicious links, don't click on it. If it is coming to your email, if it is coming to your uh, uh, mobile, if it is coming to any other device. Don't go by any free. If you, people are taking the big B, big N, uh, people name and you are telling that this is a short term offer, don't believe in it because they are going to hack your system through certain links. Okay, that is malware. And the second one is phishing. Phishing is again, it is an email. Technically, they will be sending the email uh, by stating uh, familiar, familiar uh, company's name and they will be sending that uh, phishing is technically it is a spam email. Okay. People will be sending the link. Please click on the link to complete your registration. So, uh, or else there is a one case happened. People have been how people will be hacking it. One of the one of the organization C or C suit people got uh, one email that you are Apple ID. Your login is going to expect. Please log in and change the password. Uh, they have clicked on it and they have opened it. After opening that, it is as similar as uh, to the Apple login screen. They have uh, yeah, the entire uh, system got restored. Entire sensitive information have gone to the doctor. So those kind of phishing emails, you have to be very cautious. Okay. And suspicious links, don't click on it. Uh, best example for the phishing is you got a lot, uh, London lottery for these pounds. You just click on it. You must. You have to pay very minimal amount. You will be getting the certain amount. So those kind of phishing emails, you have to be very cautious about. And sec this uh, and third one, ra ransomware. Ransomware. Ransomware again. If you are if you are touching out any 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 what you call non secured websites or if you are downloading any free software or open source software you you have to be very 20% or 30% cautious that you will system can attack, attack by the ransomware open source which is the python libraries which is technically okay open source yeah ours, uh, like uh, from the is uh, any authorized authorized what uh, the provider is okay. Anaconda is a provider for the Python library. Uh, another uh, from Java said it is a certain libraries, right? Those are all the authorized ones. If it is non-authorized pro provider is uh, pro uh, giving you the free software or open software, you will be prone to uh, get attacked by the ransomware. Okay, so ransomware is technically locking every sensitive file and they will be asking you to pay the money and they will be unlocking it but fortunately we will be having the if you are there are certain types of ransoms we can uh, unlock by pro online provided uh, keys but that's again it is a 20 percent of guarantee 80 percent you have to pay the money others you have to forget about your system or files okay and again denial of the services denial of the services means 
it's it's something like i'll tell you there is a symptom called uh, network slow right server is very low right people intentionally uh, this dark web what uh, they will do right they they will be sending if they are not able to hack your they will they will be doing some kind of another activity that they will be generating the fake request thousands of the requests to the particular server okay if you have the thousand requests in the place uh, 10 genuine uh, 10 general you know the request queues uh, when it is passing uh, when it is going to access any uh, any any particular application there will be queue methods yeah, what you call um, there will be on multi threading process which can be taking the request into the queue uh, request in, into the queue process queue terminology you were the genuine queue will be will be not getting the response this fake queues which has been sent by the uh, fake uh, request which has been sent by the people uh, dark web creating some kind of server busy right so for that yeah what is the intention of this dark web people is they will be slow downing the process of the actual request and it will be sending out the wrong what you got wrong sentiment to the actual genuine users for example if you see uh, whenever you are trying to uh, book the irct ticket ticket it will be very slow right a few months back it got, it has been uh, attacked by the denial of services okay so that is again one of the cyber attack it, it won't create any problem but it will affect on what you call uh, 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 ra what you call remin uh, reputation of the in, uh, organization so one one of the damage is there uh, but it is very less comparative to the phishing or malware or ransomware and uh, the fifth one is a man in the middle man in the middle until he will be acting like a um, acting like a person who can serve basically uh, he will be working as a something like i am i'm from certain organization and uh, you have to pay some kind of money to come uh, to uh, renew your policy kind of things right so he will be acting like a, a genuine person of the certain organization with the same kind of links same kind of information but end of the day he is not you will be uh, end up with the some kind of financial loss or your information loss okay uh, sql injection and crypto jacking zero day exploits these are all the very uh, very technical i can say crypto jacking is something like um, uh, what they will do right they they will be hacking your system they will be asking you to pay money in the bitcoins okay or they will be hacking your own uh, blockchain uh, met, uh, your own uh, system and you, they will be asking benefits in the cryptocurrency kind of thing okay and sql injection is uh, people will be writing certain queries to make your own uh, server make busy one of the denial of services uh, it is quite related to the uh, sql injection they correlate you technically SQL code basically they wanted to hack the code or uh, certain information they will write the certain uh, queries to get the information out of it okay and zero day exploits something like um, you for example people what will what they will do right they will uh, show the entire uh, community internet community that your software is having some, uh, some kind of vulnerabilities by putting some uh, by hacking your own system and they will be projecting into the public domain so that is again zero day exploits okay these are all the eight main types of the cyber attacks so as a organization what exactly we have to do how to prevent from these kind of eight attacks right we must be uh, if you it is uh, if you see the screen right it is very department related and personal related or executive related okay personal related you must be very cautious about the uh, uh, what do you call uh, abnormal uh, links or abnormal proposals from the people or abnormal activity inside your devices you are you must have to be uh, keep keep uh, using the uh, what you call authorized softwares or uh, proprietary softwares no open source 
Okay. Uh, if you are using the Microsoft uh, Microsoft any operating system, the, you have to purchase your own key. Okay. It has to be uh, because, because people will provide you the certain uh, preventive. People will be providing you the certain preventive things, right? Inside the uh, inside their own operating systems. Okay. And for and you must be very cautious. Just about your competitors as an organization, what you have to do, right? You, what exactly they are doing, how they are now. So if they are going to do some kind of adversary their activity on us, how to prevent it? Those kind of uh, things you have to continuously discuss with the cyber cyber security teams. Okay, how we are going to do it? So. There, there are three principles uh, what we call protect, detect and respond. Protect, detect and respond. Technically what happens, right? Uh, protect uh, helps us to. Give me a minute. Sir, are you there? Yeah, yeah, I'm there. Give me one minute. I said they give me one minute. I'm the, I'm having little. Okay. Yes, yeah. sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, sorry, sir. Okay. Sorry for that. Um, basically, here I'm I'm giving the protect protect. Basically, you have to be identify and protect your valuable information and ensure correct and secure access. Access means, for example, in your organization, or access, uh, will you provide access to the people? Means uh, there are certain confidential files, right? For example, uh, one of one of the students. Uh, we'll uh, discuss with the students' perspective. One of your devices having the very sensitive information about your uh, personal things, of uh, uh, your own pin, M pin, um, a mobile pin, or your own uh, photos, which is very personal to you, your family persons. All this kind of information you have to be ensure and you you should not share into the particular domain. And if you are using any app, make sure that it is following the some kind of encryption technologies. OK. Don't do, download all the games and install it. You never know the game is having certain. Certain uh, malware to execute or to theft your data. OK. And don't go by uh, by your own freebies freebies you know the freebies right guys uh, use this link uh, most of the whatsapp groups uh, does the same thing you uh, what you call uh, soon uh, closes soon offer this amazon most of the attacks what i came across is amazon by in the name of the amazon only okay these people i mean in the name of amazon they will be sending you closing deals some some blah 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 information which seems to be very authorized from the Amazon only. OK, don't share those kind of links or don't click on those links immediately delete it. If you click on it, turn off your uh, internet immediately. Turn off your own uh, internet, switch off your phone for five to seven, uh, seven minutes and switch on it. OK. And do some kind of conduct uh, regular tests to identify the I have vulnerabilities. Vulnerabilities are something like uh, if you are uh, vulnerabilities are something like uh, prone to be attacked. So few software prone to be attacked me. Okay. Vulner uh, for example, uh, we call hacking of the password is called brute force. Brute force means we try the combinations. We see your uh, we see your uh, uh, what you call uh, birthday details. You, uh, you we will be looking into your uh, uh, personal details. Once we are able to identify it, we what we do, right? We use combination of those words. Okay. It can be there are certain algorithms uh, which can generate the password easily uh, in the in the in the in the public uh, domain. Okay. That is the that is the technique we follow in the brute force to ha hack it. So. To avoid those kind of brute force attacks, you must be very cautious. You have to every uh, periodically every 15 days you have to change your password uh, periodically you have to scan your own uh, laptop or device 
if do if if you have any virus or anything okay and detect now till now we have talking about the prevention means not giving chance to the attack so detect some kind of attack has been uh, happened how you will be detect for identifying uh, this detect is basically monitor the secure systems constantly you have to scan it every 15 days right i ask you to scan it or change the password if you are able to do such and such kind of thing you will be able to identify or detect if there is any uh, malware or any software virus or some kind of breach has been happened this is a periodical one right and you have to be very up to date because you know in the dark web every day people are coming up with the new ideas it's not that these are all the only four set of five set of ideas uh, people are following uh, other than this no one is following it today ransomware we uh, we heard two years before before that you know two or uh, four years before right before that we don't know the uh, ransomware right we were having ethical hacking in the place that ethical hacking even there is a very 40% possibility of the ethical hacking if you are not connected to the internet they, it cannot be possible right so people are you know in the dark web also people are very highly becoming like a very highly technical and tactical okay and next one is the how to respond to the particular one first of all if you want to respond to the particular uh, breach you have to we have to something like you have to uh, follow some kind of protocol if let us assume uh, you have to put a strategy in your organization that yes it is almost impossible to uh, uh, no protect the system let's let's mock it mock it there is a breach happened how to respond it so the people used to do some kind of uh, drill uh, drill uh, activities that there is a security attack happened to respond to particular security attack they used to mock it and they used to write the certain create the protocols responding is a uh, creating the response to the particular database or particular incident adversarial in incident okay and every time to respond if there are certain systems in our organization it organization dr dr system the disaster recovery systems every periodical uh, time every 15 days of time uh, people used to take the backup from the actual application and they used to uh, they used to respond to the particular uh, uh, breach when it is breached these people used to take that particular dr system and they they uh, what you call deploy back the uh, application okay and again if there are any business happen any response happen for example there is a that uh, there is a breach happen in our application so to give you the resolution it will take at least one day of time right in one day span what uh, what are the activities we have to do we have to communicate to the clients we have to do we have to we have to explain everything to the our stakeholders right those kind of continuity plans business continuity plans has to be create by the organization or the cyber security team to give to give assurance that we will be giving the uh, we will be giving the resolution to the particular data breach and we we have to give the assurance to that there are there is no breach uh, there is no sensitive data has been tapped and we have made everything uh, everything in a uh, right manner so this kind of responses to have to be communicated to the our entire stakeholders after in incident uh, data incident have, have been happened so the, these three are the mantras of the cyber security uh, uh, what you call uh, cyber security practitioner you have to protect your system you have to you must be very uh, up to date to uh, detect or identify the database you have to be very you have to be very uh, ready with your uh, response when there's uh, when the security breach has been happened okay i hope you guys are comfortable with this protect detect and respond these are all the three mantras uh, which can help any organization on this planet so by considering protect detect and uh, response right 
we have another car. Uh, if you go to the little down the layer, we have controls of the cyber security. Those are administrative con uh, controls, technical controls, and physical controls. I mean, admin these controls are basically part of the protect. Protect means administrative controls will be helping to prevent the, for example, uh, human level mistakes. Human level, uh, for example, people are using same password. Uh, people are using the same password or people are using the same pattern of the password right those kind of identification and to uh, alarm uh, yeah, um, sending the, some kind of notification to the people that please use the uh, password policy which is uh, eight to key eight words and one capital and uh, one special character if you follow these password policies to hack your pass, uh, pass, uh, password it will take one billion year to hacker to hack your password if you follow the strong password policy some people put the password 1 2 3 some people put their own uh, man, uh, some, uh, someone like put their own birthday someone put something like uh, very nasty uh, they like for example they like the uh, this guy uh, iron man they will put iron man 1 2 3 those kind of easily crackable password should not be followed okay you must be include any special character and one character letter. Then only it will take one billion year to hack your system until unless you shared or shared any password to the anyone. Okay. Don't share that is not successful. That is administrator human level mistake. Avoiding the controlling the human level mistakes. That is administrative mistake. Administrative control. Technical control. Technology. Managing the technology and the systems. Basically, whatever system uh, uh whether they are the voice inside the organization i'm telling whether they are using the uh, proprietary os or, or right authorized os up to date os which is uh, not having the vulnerabilities inside those kind of technical checks have to be happened every periodical time every month i can say every fortnight fortnight is technically 15 days okay physical means for example people carries the Flashcards are um, uh, for uh, what do you call physical environment, controlling the entire physical environment. For example, if people want to try to access the server. Inside, getting into the server, server is not a, something like a bedroom you directly get into, right? There must be some kind of access. Those kind of access control has to be happen inside the organization uh, to prevent the any data breach. Okay, direct data breach. Okay, that is what I, entirely this diagram is explaining. And before you know cyber security, you know types of cyber security, you know uh, how to control it, how to prevent it. But we must be knowing it. If cyber set cyber security ha happened, cyber set cyber attack happened, what kind of information we have to be prevented? Okay, right? There are information is wealth technically if you see boys movie uh, there is a famous uh, saying told by a beggar who sits on the steps of the temple right he says information is the wealth right information is wealth right um, you have any organization will be every organization will be holding the all kind of information but there is a category there is certain category which can be disclosed publicly which can be uh having some kind of internal access which can be restricted to the certain people which will be having the only access to the very high level people that is called that is what here i'm showing one is the category confidential one is the restricted one is the internal one is the public again this info if you have categorized your own information even personal information like this you will be very safe you won't you most of the probability of getting attacked or hacked your system will be very less okay so confidential information which can be accessed by the only c suit restricted is middle management internal means for example uh, there is a change happened inside the organization so those kind of information can be publicly disclosed by the certain department internal means uh, there is a what internal means someone is leaving the organization or you are you are 
a client is visiting your uh, company those kind of information you should not post to inside your any social media there is in in accenture there is a policy employee can't post any information of their own client because because uh, accenture signs on the agreement on this kind of clauses okay so information classification is confidential restricted internal and public public is organization can publicly disclose their own financial uh, profit and losses to the it has to to the particular authority internal is uh, you have to be very cautious which about the information which can be shared within your colleagues restricted means there is certain information of the client which is having the financial details of the client we as we are working with the consultant to the companies so we have to maintain that uh, entire information is very restricted and we should should not share with the colleagues because it is a restricted access okay and confidential again it will be accessed by the only executive team okay so you know the category uh, categories of the information right Na then again what are the frameworks control cyber security framework control frameworks available in in the world one is the nisc which is american one national institute of standards and technology model second one is iso model and third one is control objective of uh, for information and tech, uh, related technologies these are all the policies are or uh, what we call frameworks which can give you the better practices to avoid the attacks inside the organization okay i'll take five more minutes to conclude the entire thing and i'll take the last five minutes uh, the questions okay uh, i think there is a disturbance so someone can mute that please hello hello uh, yes sir muted all i'm sorry for that okay thank you so much okay no problem next okay next coming to this cyber security roles i know you people are very curious about the sir you have explained anything what exactly we are going to do in future right these are all the critical roles inside any organization irrespective of technologies irrespective of the domains okay chief information security officer ciso is the strongest person in any any organization okay he will be responsible for the entire security operations inside the organization okay and what exactly he will be holding on right first one is identify and access management if you joined in an organization there are in a big organization or in a small organization like startup also you need certain access to the environment of the particular office right those kind of identity and access management will be uh, those kind of access will be taken care by the iim team okay and second providing access to the certain sensitive uh, software for example if i am holding any product those kind of product security operations scan or uh, physical scanning or uh, programmatical scanning or firewall management all this stuff may be managed by the security operations team okay and cyber security culture culture is something like providing training to the people if you see if you look into the so basically if you cyber security culture is basically they will be creating the awareness of the particular cyber security in sensitivity of the particular cyber security breaches okay providing the training conducting the training or awareness programs on cyber security okay and security architects basically they will safeguard all the system components inside the organization okay and the second responsibility is identifying the new threats and third is leading the cyber security research and development okay these are all the three security architects they will these after cc so security architects are the very uh, very uh, what you call demanding role inside any organization okay and next coming to the compliance team compliance team what will what they will do right they will be enforcing all the rules and regulations and they will be asking they will be setting or getting the certification for cyber security standards under managing or uh, managing and monitor the cyber security controls 
what we have we were talking about this admin physical admin, physical control administrative control and the third one is a technology control okay and uh, work with the external auditors to verify the compliment compliance for example our organization is private organization right people will be coming out coming out from the for the organization and they will be checking it uh, they will be pro doing some kind of audit checks if it is a bank audit check will be done by the rba if it is a software some someone some organization will be coming and doing some kind of audit checks right to assist them compliance team will be helping them to uh, check the all the compliance related steps and project management technically uh, uh, they what uh, they will be working with the, the password information or uh, access of, uh, for the critical systems or uh, any outgoing uh, controlling the access of the resigned employees or outgoing employees or incoming employees. Okay, these are all the roles who can be taking care of the entire org any organization. And carries if you want to be entry level carry, you will be a security specialist. Our incidents response handler, or you will be part of IIMT. Mid level policy positions, policies are nothing but the password policy. Uh, group, uh, there are certain policies in uh, different, uh, what you call geographical position. GDPR is on in European Union, there is a GDPR. In uh, uh, another uh, area, it is ISO. Those kind of policy uh, management has to be uh, followed by the certain policies have to be followed by the IT organizations. Security engineers, asset managers, or auditors. These are all the mid level and high level is CISO and deputy CISO. So I gave you entire uh, uh, dimensions of the or uh, verticals of the cyber security. And I'm so uh, thankful to the entire VAT team. Uh, on next gen cloud, VAT AP, this guy, Baji, and uh, his team members to giving me uh, this opportunity. Uh, I think, guys, do you have any questions? You can shoot out. Last five minutes, we can. I can. I'll be taking the questions. I'll be giving the, you the response. Yes, sir. Thank you. And guys, if anyone of you had any questions, uh, you can put over here. And uh, I'd like to thank of a, a word like uh, I would like to express my word of thank. Now I extend a warm welcome to the people who are gathering here. I would like to express my gratitude to esteem our delegate, uh, one of the web of the webinar, Mr. Pawan Gali, for his presence and contribution to make this webinar a great success. On behalf of entire NGC club and VIT, I'd like to thank to honorable speaker because webinar can't be completed without your presence and uh, apparently words, sir. And extending my gratitude to our honorable speaker only to take out time from his busy schedule to grace the event. Thank you for inspiring and encouraging us with your words, sir. And yeah, on yeah. This question, thanks, right? thanks for that, Surya. Thank and you so much. A special thanks to our club faculty coordinator, Mr. Ganesh Reddy, sir, to support us on every event and webinar. Without him, the club is vacant. And thanks to our club advisor, Mr. Baji Babu. And present Mr. Mo President Mr. Mohan Krishna for providing immense support to make the webinar happen. And finally, guys, if anyone of you have any, any doubts, the platform is open to ask. And don't rush in between, please. For that, I'll allow everyone to put your doubt here. So just stay rose your hand. I'll allow you to give the access to you guys. If you had any doubts, you can message or you can use chat box or else you can raise your hand. Uh, the doubts are open for one by one only. Don't be rushed. And thank you, sir.